no hello. I know this wasn't really a planned live for me tonight. Hi, Kelly. But while Jamie's away, I thought I would steal the show today so I could still craft with you guys. Um, so at the last minute, when I saw that Jamie was busy packaging paper, I decided to <laughs> pull a couple of stamp sets and I'm gonna try something new. Because <laughs> you guys know, at some point one of these is gonna fail, so forgive me if it does. But <laughs> we're just gonna play around today. So it's rainy outside. I don't know how it is for you guys, but if anybody is, um, so Kelly, if you could just say hi so I can see if the comments are coming through, that would be super great. I want to make sure I can see all the comments when they come through. I don't know if you, yeah, there it is. Hi Kelly. So I don't know if you guys know, but I, um, cast my, TV my phone to my TV so I can see the comments larger um, when I'm live so it helps to know that the comments are working so I decided to pull this stamp set now I know this is not fall or Halloween ish or anything like that however I would like to see if I can make this tomato a pumpkin a pumpkin head because I mean how cute I call my grandson pumpkin head all the time um and then i thought i would use this sentiment that says autumn leaves and pumpkins please hi jenny and so we're gonna make it fall even though it doesn't really look fall when you first look at it so we're when if we're going to manipulate this stamp set we're gonna have to do away with the tomato top and make it into a pumpkin top and then we're gonna color them like a pumpkin so I thought, well, if we use this sentiment and we make him a pumpkin head, then we should make an ATC card, I mean, a color decks card. How fun would that be? So I pulled out my color decks angled because I don't know, it just feels fall to me. And I went ahead and cut this out ahead of time so you guys wouldn't have to wait for that part, but there's the, there's the color decks and then here's the background paper I chose it looks like fall it's like a little path of paper it looks like he's and I'm gonna put him on the path and then I'm gonna put the sentiment on it I think it's gonna be super duper cute I'm hoping the coloring comes out as good as I would like this if anybody wants to know this is the paper pad I'm using it's called impression obsession rubber stamps called autumn scenes look at these amazing papers in here this is really cool paper so I just took one the one with the path and I just die cut it oh it's falling apart anybody else have that problem there it is it's this nope I guess it was my last one it was that one and I just die cut it to make it smaller hey Tammy Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So <clears throat> we're going to manipulate our stamp today. So we have to stamp it. And in order to do that, we have to do it with no lines coloring. Me too, Kelly. I love these scenes. They are so much fun. I was playing with them last night. I got one from, um, I got a, one of those from, La La Land had a scene last, and I was playing with my paper packs and look at this one, this card I made last night. I can't show you the other ones because they're future releases, but I can show you the one that I did with an image I had colored. Like sometimes I just have colored images on my desk. I can't help it. But so this background looks like candy. The whole pack is like little candy houses and stuff. Yeah, and so I just put our happy birthday to you stamp on there and our, this is um, Moonlight Whispers Little Yetis. And I thought, how cute is that? It's a simple, quick card, but the background is just stunning. So yeah, that was super fun. 
so I made a bunch of cards last night. Yes, very quick. I, I like it that way. The I like the focus to be on the coloring because that's what I work so hard on. And then the rest of it, if it can come together quick, I love it. I'm clean and simple. That's the way I like to make my cards. So the angled color decks card is in stock. I'm going to put that away now because you guys know what that is. And I already cut it, so we already have our pieces. And then I have our purple coloring paper that is back in stock. Um, this one. And it is actually in stock right now. Also an A2 size is in stock along with our craft paper, but our teal paper is still in transition. So don't worry about that. The purple paper is fabulous because it's purple. Just saying, you know, if it's purple, how can it not be fabulous? Okay, so we're gonna take this little tomato. We might have to stamp him more than once. Just because if I mess him up, I might have to start him over again. We'll stamp him once, but we'll keep him on the stamp set ready for the next go-round in case we mess him up. And then I want to use this autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. So I'm going to put him over here. I actually have two pieces of the cardstock so I'll probably stamp it twice just in case you can tell I was cutting dies because a metal piece is stuck on my magnet okay so I'm going to actually stamp the words in black and the image in desert sand so I have a question for you guys. I saw this question in another group, and I know you guys have seen me struggle with my black ink pads fraying on the edges. Can you see that? How it, how it starts fraying and then it leaves spots all over my paper. Um, and so, does anyone else have that problem? I think I might, I think I've worn out my black stamp pad. I'm going to get the VersaFine. I need to buy a new ink pad. So on this other group, I can't remember what group it was, but they're doing some questions and answers on those uh, stamp pads, on the Memento stamp pads. And they said, because the stamp pad is made out of fabric, if you blotch like this, then you won't get that. But if you twist like I was just doing, because I can't help myself, um, then you can get those frays. But if you don't, if you don't swish it around, if you don't rub it on the stamp and you just dab it, then that won't happen to you. And I thought that was super interesting. To read about so I twist and shout I'm right there hi Jamie so I just thought that while I was live I would mention that and I don't know I haven't been able to test that theory but I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to test that theory with the next stamp pad I buy because I am frustrated by all those little all those little fuzzy things that get on my page when I'm stamping so I thought that was very interesting. But I twist my stamps all the time. You guys watch me on lives. You know I do it. You know I can't help myself. So I, because this is a uh, VersaFine ink, which gives you a really crisp look. I love VersaFine, but because it's VersaFine, I want to clean it off my stamp right away. Just because I don't want it to stain the stamp. And if I leave it on, sometimes it does stain my stamps. So um, we just want to get that cleaned off in case we have to stamp it again. I don't want to take it off of the Misty stamp platform. So that's where we are. We're going to put that aside, and now we're going to work on our little image here. So 
if you guys don't know, this is called No Lines Coloring. You stamp with desert sands. So you can barely see it. Um, and then we color it. And then you won't be able to see the lines that you stamped with. So it looks like you just colored it right on the paper. I thought you were being thorough. <laughs> yeah, no. I just... I don't know what it is, but I like to make sure I get everything stamped, and so I feel like I have to twist the ink pad, but I don't. It's I just put the wrong lids on this Memento ink. Seriously? I think I've lost my mind today, you guys. But hey, we can lose it together. It's rainy and gross outside and not fun at all. So we're going to have fun inside. That is... The important part okay all right so we're gonna color this little guy as a pumpkin head it's gonna be fun I cannot wait I may move some of this stuff off my desk if it if I don't get it right don't judge me yours is so far gone mine is too I'm telling you my ink pad is so bad and I bought it not that long ago but evidently I'm damaging it so I need to be a little more careful and cautious about how I do that so I just thought I would throw that tip out there for you guys to try if anybody else has that problem so all right I ate apples before I started and they're stuck in my teeth not that you needed to know that but okay so I want this to look um, not your not your ink pad your mind is so far gone <laughs> Okay, so I think I want to start with the hands and the legs because I'm gonna make it like a little, like a little boy in a pumpkin head costume. Cause you know, why not? I mean, it is fall and everybody likes pumpkins. Well, not everybody, but lots of people. So E triple zero is what I'm starting with. And I'm just gonna put, just gonna put a base coat inside here of this color just to get the papers wet so he's going to look significantly different than the package looks and I believe I colored the packaging or maybe Jamie did no I think Jamie did um, but that was the way I imagined it with green arms and legs because he's a tomato but we're going to color him different today. I mean, he could be in a Halloween costume. He could be a pumpkin head Halloween costume. Yep, you did. I can tell. It's the eyes. I can tell by the eyes on the packaging that you did it. Hi, Angela. How'd dress hunting go? Okay, now I'm going to use my RV95 to do the shadow areas. This one, I'll be a little slower because I don't do no lines coloring too often. So I don't have a lot of experience on it. Yes to oh my gosh, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Yay. That was good. One time shot. And she found one she liked. That's amazing. That's fabulous news. I'm just kind of outlining a little bit of where his hand goes together because it would be dark, darker in there. I know you do, Jamie. That's not a me thing. I like the way it looks when it's done, but I really like those thick black lines. I don't know why. I can't help myself. It's just a me thing. Yes, we do. <laughs> do we have our heat on? Yes, we do. You guys know I can't take the... It's not even that cold. What is it outside, honey? 60 something? Probably 60. Yeah, last night I was like, dude, it's cold in this house. I can't take it. So, 
my husband being as sweet as he is to me, he turned on the heat. I am not like a lot of people that like to be um, warm or like to be cold when they sleep. That is not me. You can ask my bestie. She will tell you I do not like to be cold anytime ever. 85 and clear. Kelly, are you in Florida? Are we about to come to that beautiful weather right there? That would be great. Because I know I am. See, and this is why I don't really do no lines. Because I feel the need to draw lines in with my shadow colors. I don't really think you need to. But I just cannot help myself. Making the inside of his hand uh, darker. Because his hands are closed. You're going to help at the show. Yay, Kelly. I did not know that. Somehow I think you were talking, maybe you might have been talking about that a little bit on Jamie's Live yesterday. But I was trying so hard to get my stuff done that it was only partially listening and partially multitasking. I was coloring my Christmas cards last night yesterday whatever you want to call it and um flannels and fuzzy socks even as a florida girl all year long there you go resist the urge to draw the lines i can't help myself i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying I like the way it looks, but I like the out I like the outside lines, so you know what can I say? It's a different style. At least you get a different style with each one. And more and more paper and also paper and more paper. And Jamie has a lot of paper because you guys wiped us out the first time around. So we ordered a ton, a ton, a ton of paper. Hoping that we don't run out again. That is the plan. Okay, so this is my true color. Or the one I'm using as the true color. So this is the one where I'm going to start blending those lines and using it a little more, more of it instead of just a little bit to kind of start building that in. Man, this looks really cool. You know, every time I do no lines coloring, I think to myself, I should do this more often bet most people like lines it's just a crisp look i mean and we are doing more of well at least this one is anyway cartoonish characters and that's more my style i like the less realistic more cartoony i've always been that way even when i was little i used to always draw cartoons and like snoopy was a big one i colored woodstock drew Woodstock and Snoopy all the time and um, I just like them that way and so I think they look better with the black lines because they're not real Aww, that's awesome You see my true colors. Lends itself more to a no lines. Yeah. Sometimes leave a stamp. My positioner may stamp lines over my no line color. Wow, Kelly. That's interesting. I had not I had not thought of that. But we kind of did that with embossing last night. I mean, uh, I think it was Thursday night. This is my last color, so I'm going to do my blending out with this. I would imagine it will work the same way. That's really neat. That's a great idea. 
Just FYI, sorry for the sounds. The printers and stuff are running, of course, because we have another show in Florida where we get to see Kelly and Cameron and Tyler and so much fun. All right. Look, we have hands and legs. Yay! The challenging part is going to be when we try to change the top of this pumpkin to be, or tomato to be a pumpkin. That's where our challenge is gonna come in. Yay! Yes, we are gonna see Mickey. We are super happy about that. I was gonna wait and do the body and the feet. I missed the little neck though, so I need to go back and do that. But I was gonna wait and do the bottom part first, but you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, we should actually do the pumpkin right away in case I mess it up and I have to start over. Would you guys even be in for the duration of that? Oh my goodness. I gotta get his little neck in here though doesn't have to be dark, it just has to be in there. There we go. Probably won't be able to see it much, but... All right, let's do the pumpkin next because, you know, it's a thing. So I'm gonna move my markers because it's just easier for me when they're on the front step, if you will on the front step. Okay, so I chose YR18 because I like this orange color. And then YR27 to get some depth. And then YR16. And then YR15, which is amazingly called Pumpkin Yellow. And Stitch! Yay! Hi, Kareen. Is that how you say your name, Kareen? Kareen, I hope that's right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use. We're gonna do like I normal, like I do sometimes. I'm gonna use a YR12, which is a really, really light orange. No, I need lighter than that. Hold up. I'm gonna use YR00. Yep. And I'm going to put. I'm just gonna put a few of these lines in here, like I would for the pumpkin, just so that I can see where they're gonna be. I can always change them later, but I wanna kinda get that idea going, cause he's not gonna look like a pumpkin unless he has these pumpkin lines on him. And then I think we're gonna go down and we're gonna just change that into one size right there. So I'm just kind of sketching in, this is the artist in me. And then here is where I'm going to change that into the top of a pumpkin versus a tomato. So I know that looks a little messy, but that's how I come up with what I'm going to do before I do it. So kind of like this, changing them into a pumpkin. And I used YR00, which is in the same color family that I used here. It's just very, very light, so you won't see it. It's almost like a no lines coloring. So I'm gonna start with my YR18. And this is where we're gonna put in the shadow part. So I'm gonna put it around where I want this top of the pumpkin to be. And then I'm gonna start going down these lines where I put the pumpkin lines. Man, I hope this comes out. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I get a little nervous about this stuff when I'm just testing something. The only reason I can do that with you guys is because I know if I jack it up, you guys will forgive me. So I'm just modifying a little bit the top of my pumpkin. Starting to build out the top of the pumpkin. 
Now I'm going to do around his hands because they would be shadowed by his hands. And don't, if you're doing this kind of stuff, you don't want to leave squares because then it just, it just looks funny. So what I mean by squares is if you were going around it like that, don't leave it square like that. Leave it like this. It blends a little bit better and looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and go along the bottom just because I need that shadow like under his chin. If I mess up, the artist may get insulted. Well, I think I'm a little lucky on that one. <laughs> <coughs> I think my least favorite part is drawing in the eyes, nose, and mouth type stuff because I feel like that messes it up at the end. Okay, so this is why R27, it's a little bit more of a fall-ish, dark brownish orange, but I kind of like it because it will keep that brightness out of the image that bright pumpkin look. So we're just um, brush, brush stroking away from where we put the original color just so that we can start building this in. Oh my gosh, this might actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit down here because we got to start building in these pumpkin lines. It's more rusty. That That's the one I was looking for. Now I'm going to go just around the eyes a little bit. I want some depth in those, so I need a darker color. I'm not going to do him, because I want him to be like a little boy in a pumpkin costume, I'm not going to do his eyes like any weird yellow glowing whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be like they ha he has an opening in his costume. I'm also going to put a little nose on there. And start building in his mouth. Just so I can see it. It's starting to come along. You're bringing your markers and refills for a party activity? Oh, so I should bring mine too. Is that what you're saying? Because, you know, I'm driving, so I can bring whatever. No, she's saying bring your refill station so you can clean the markers. I am bringing my markers and refills for a party activity. Oh, you want me to... Oh, she can get a refill station while she's at the show. I bet she no, already she has. No, she wants you to do the marker. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. Oh, okay. You want me to... You want me to maintain your markers. Is that what you're saying? Dale thinks that's what you're saying. Since you're so good at it. <laughs> okay, so this is the third color. It's the YR16, and I am... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dale is right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay. You know I'm always game to that. Okay, we're so we're starting to try to get this to blend out a bit. I feel like I don't want to color into his eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of outline so I can see it. Dale is super smart. Dale is super smart. No. I know, but we all know Dale is super smart. He is very smart on that kind of stuff. He usually pegs that correctly. I usually goes over my head. I was like, oh, so do you have all the refills or do you need me to bring refills? Because, you know, I have all of them. Because, you know, I already have most of my stuff packed, so I'm pretty good. You have everything. Oh, nice. 
Okay, I can certainly help you with that. Although I will tell you, when people have me do it for them, I usually give you some tasks to do while you're to help me while we're doing while we're working on them. And, okay. And also a bottle of whipped vodka. And, and also a bottle of whipped vodka. <laughs> <laughs> and a roll of paper towels, yes. Large bottle of alcohol along with color blend <laughs> solution. Lots of um, lots of uh, Q-tips. I need lots of Q-tips when I'm doing that task. Okay, so I just went back in with my YR27 just to give me a little bit more um, of the line work that I need for the pumpkin. And then, awesome. Hi, Melanie. And then I'm going back to the YR16 to kind of blend that out just a little bit so it's not so stark. We I've only chosen one more color in my combination, so if I need to go to that um, YR12, I will. But originally, that wasn't my plan. I am going to work away from his mouth right now just a little bit. I give him a little orange mustache right here. I'm going to blend one more time under these eyes to kind of soften that a little bit. We'll see how this looks when we get done if we need to do any more modification. Okay, YR15 is next. So this is the one where I'm going to start blending it out. I think these YR colors start getting really light by YR15. So I tend to not want to go much lighter than that but look at this little pumpkin head oh my gosh it's working out I'm excited hi Paula I'm excited because I'm starting to feel a little more confident can you tell I'm coloring a little faster feeling a little bit more of the confidence because it's starting to look the way I wanted it to how stinking cute is that going to do a quick swipe over this middle part because I want to leave a little bit of highlight there. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Okay, this is starting to be super cool. I'm a little bit surprised at myself here. Not going to lie. Okay, here is YG99 because I, I need to keep that uh, dark tone. Um, because the colors are dark in here. Y38 at the end of your YR blend. Oh, that's a that's a good tip. Okay, so I'm going to start building in this top pumpkin part real quick. Just want to get me some lines in here. Kind of start building that in there separation between the orange and the green there we go and then I don't want it to be really green so I'm gonna switch colors kind of fast to get down to the lighter colors YG uh, 97 is already significantly lighter which makes me happy See, once you have these stamps, you can do so much with them. I just love it. You love pumpkin? I might put a lighter green in here than just the, all this olive green, but... I feel like this green needs to be a little bit more... I don't know. Gotta have a little bit of lighter green in there, but. So I think for this last one, instead of using YG93, I'm gonna switch it to YG63, because I think I need a little bit of a brighter green tone in here. 
So I'm just going to switch it up a little bit. Look at that little pumpkin. Oh my gosh. This is almost coming out like I imagined it in my head when I was trying to figure out what to do. Okay, let's leave his eyes for now. We're gonna move on to his clothes. So I wanted to make his clothes, I'm just gonna make his clothes all one color. I'm not gonna put the lines in it, so you won't be able to see those when I get done, but we're gonna use the same green, you know, cause he's a pumpkin. And so starting with YG99, just gonna get me some color under his, where his neck is and under the pumpkin, because that would seriously be shadowing him. I'm going to do a little bit down here by his legs and underneath him. He came out well. I'm really surprised. I, I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> but I like him as a pumpkin. How cute is that? You know, I saw him in my head as a pumpkin, even though he was a tomato, but it just, I don't know, it just felt like I, that's just what I wanted to do. This is not the right color. I'm glad I paused. This is the last color. We need the YG97. And I'm just doing brush strokes out from where I put the darkest shade, although it's not blending quite as well as I wanted, so I may have to go over it again. I think my marker is a little bit on the sticky side, so that I found a few of mine are on the sticky side right now, so I'm gonna have to work with a few of these before. I do a whole lot of coloring. I want him to be all one color. I don't want... I remember when we were talking about Monica and you said this would be fine. Yep, I did. I, I think we were at a show, Jamie, when we talked about it. When I was like, oh, we need to make him a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, this is YG95. Look at that little belly of his. And it is fun doing it. I like it. I like how it's coming out. I'm going to deepen down here just a little bit more. Okay. Now, oh, were we on the phone? Off topic. How would I know how much it is to ship paper back to Canada? That's a Jamie question. You just order and the website ships to Canada. <laughs> well, there you go. That was a quick and easy answer. So I'm gonna use the YG63 like we used at the top, but I think I may need to pull out that other color as well because we kind of want to tone it back down a little bit. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that. We're gonna stick with just this color. I'm just gonna go over it till it blends nicely. It's almost like a blue-green when you put it together like that. I'm going to do his little shoes in W. I mean, he is going to be walking outside. I'll shift to you so that it doesn't charge you again when it crosses the border. There you go. See? I knew Jamie would have the answers. Okay, so we're going to work on the sole of this shoe with W10. And to get this really fine line, you got to hold the marker upright so that you get a really fine line. The more upright you hold it, the thinner you can make your lines. 
the more side you write it, the thicker the lines. So keep up on that. I know, isn't he just adorable? I love him as a tomato. I think I love him even more as a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the second color. We only have three colors for this one too. This is W8. May have to go over the bottom again with like 110 just to get that depth on the sole again. Or a multi-liner. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I want to do a little bit more on this side. And then I think I'm going to do kind of a little bit of an outline around here just because we only have three colors. This would be my true color since it's the middle one. I want to get a few brush strokes sticking out so it blends really well. W6 is next. Do you remember the modified stamp I was going to do thing? I should do that tomorrow, huh? Yep. <laughs> Tommy Pickles. Oh my goodness. And he's got little clogs on, it looks like. And he'll be running in the fall leaves. Okay, I'm going to go over with W10 one more time. The um, bottom heel. Just so that part looks a little more shadowed than the rest. I think it'll help that stand out a little bit. I am going to go to the 110 because it didn't work quite the way I wanted. 110 is the warm black. 100 is the cool black. Just in case you needed to know that. There we go. That's better. I can't really see it on screen, but in person you can see it's a little better. It's a little darker around the bottom. <clears throat> the camera is harder to show that, but. All right, so now the challenging part. Okay, so I'm going to use, what a Haley, oh, Haley, oh my God. I'm going to choose, I need to choose a lighter color for inside his mouth. So I think I'm going to jump to YR12 and put that in there a little bit. Just because we want it to look a little bit natural, a little bit, you know. And now we need to do some eyes. So here it goes. Are you guys ready for the eyes? I think we need to make them a different color though, but maybe brown. <clears throat> so we're gonna go with the brown. I think I'm gonna stick with, I don't know. I'm nervous a little bit about this part right here, but we'll, we'll be all right. I was nervous about the whole thing when we started and we did good, so no worries. E29. E25, E23, G00. That's what we're doing. I don't know how it's going to go, but here we go. Here we go now. Don't give up now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. So we need to put in where we want those lines to be. Now, should I have done that with a lighter color? Yes. But I just went right for it, seriously. Okay, that gets the eye shape the way that I want it to be. 
This is probably not the way Jamie would approach it, but it's all good. He's wearing glasses. Huh? He's wearing glasses. He does look like he's wearing glasses. Never give up, never surrender. That's right. Here we go. We're rolling with it. I'm going to put a little bit around the, the pupil area here because we're going to make that part black anyway. Around the outside, yeah. We're gonna use a multi-liner for that part. So it's not really gonna matter all that much. But I wanna get those two areas in there so I can do some lines in here so he starts looking like more realistic eyes. He looks freaking scary right now. This is a scary pumpkin. This really is pumpkin head. Has anybody seen that movie Pumpkin Head? It's a scary movie, so I know you haven't seen it, Jamie, but I love that movie. I love it, I love it, but I can never find it. No one ever has it on, it should be on the Halloween movies, but it never is. So now E25, I skipped 27 because I want to make these a little bit lighter and I like having the depth of the darker. So I'm going to go around where I put the darkest color to kind of start softening that up a little bit. I'm doing the inside and the outside. Kelly said it's not a scary movie, girl. Oh, you're not? Oh, you're a, you're a Team Jamie then? I am a scary movie girl. And that movie, Pumpkinhead, is really good. It's really, really good. Okay, moving to E23. And I'm going to reserve the right to say right now that I tend to add additional colors later. So even though I said these were the only ones I was going to use, it might not be. going around the outside with this lightest color because I want to sort of soften the edges a little bit. I feel like they're a little bit harsh because there's no black lines, if you will, so it feels a little bit more harsh to me. Also, this um, pupil was a little bit bigger, so I'm kind of going around that to get that the perfect size as well. And then I like to use the magic color. I think Jamie uses G000. I use G00. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Just pick the one that you like, gives you the results that you like the most. Then you just run it back and forth very lightly. And it kind of moves the ink around to give you that really pretty like outside look. I'm not going to judge my eyes too much until I've had a chance to um, color in the pupil area. But I'm going to go back with my light color and sort of, because it kind of faded those out just a little bit more than I wanted. And then I'm going to go back in with my dark, dark, darkest color to do the outside one more time because we don't have any black lines. And so I really, it, I really am going to feel better if I have a little more depth on those eyeballs and that's a personal preference you do not have to do that if you don't want to and seriously if you feel a little anxiety about doing these eyes you could always put googly eyes on there ain't nothing wrong with that what colors are you going to use we say all of them that is right all of them all of the ones that we want okay now I'm going to grab my multi-liner. So we're going to get him some eyes in here. So I have the .03. I'm going to go around the inside because I think that if you don't uh, see the full, when you don't see the full look, it just looks crazy. Now we'll come in with our white gel pen and we'll add the highlights, but for now, I just want to get the black in the pupil because you have to let it dry before you can put the white gel pen. Oh my goodness. 
That is fresh paper, Jamie. Okay, this is super cute. I have my white gel pen out because if I don't put it on my desk, I'm not going to remember. I do have my die cutting machine handy on the table, so I think I am going to die cut him out with the die cuts on the back. Unfortunately, I do not have my dies cut yet, but I am going to use them, so I am going to cut them. But I only need... I only need this little guy right here. And we'll see what he looks like when I set him over top. I'm hoping he'll still work even though he's a pumpkin and not a tomato. Yep, I think we're gonna be okay. Woohoo! Did it! Okay, I have some uh, washi tape here that I used earlier. You know what though? Look at how much I bled that. Look at my finger. Do you see it? I messed up the, the words. So we'll have to stamp those again because they, I bled the words. All right, let's zoom out. We're gonna die cut our little guy. I got my, I got my little, um, my little folder here to flatten out a little bit by leaving the machine sitting on it. So, no bloody pumpkin scene. Nope, it's not gonna be like that. This is a cheery pumpkin. It's actually not even a Halloween card. It's kind of like just a fall pumpkin card. That's what I'm excited about. It's not going to be Halloween. I have enough Halloween cards with my creepy clowns. <laughs> I can't help but giggle, you guys. It's stinking funny. The little pumpkin celebrating dude. I am going to have to trim because I didn't get him perfectly lined up, but that's okay. That's because we changed him. I should have just fussy cut him, but I was lazy. So we'll just trim him up a little bit. That's good. And then we're going to cut out... Um, does that count as a... No, Sleepy Hollow wasn't even scary. That was just... Just a movie. Not really scary. So yesterday, we watched The Nun, The Nun 2, and The Conjuring 2. Those were our scary movies for the day. So if you're watching The Nun and The Conjuring and um, what's the other one called? The Red Door. Then you're into scary movies. <laughs> yeah, you know I was going to cut those out. It's also going to drive me crazy. I think I'm going to cut out this bottom part too. I know you guys don't have to do this. It's not that big of a deal. But for me, I just, seriously, I just don't like all that white because I don't want your eye focusing on the white. I want your eye focusing on the coloring because, you know, that's what I spend all the time on. There we go. See, now he's super cute. And then I just take my mat and that's how I get rid of all my little scraps. Okay, so this is the color decks angled that we have in the shop. And I've already cut out my papers. So it's these two dies right here. 
I think I'm gonna pop it up because I think dimensionally it'll be super cute. I think we can add his eyes now so we can really see what he looks like. Ready? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at how super cute he is. <laughs> this is just it's called pen blade I got it on Amazon it's an 11 you can buy them in all different sizes I think I love that stupid tool I think that was a Jamie suggestion as well I mean what would we do without each other all right where's my misty because we got to restamp the word ta-da there it is We did not have to recolor our little tomato guy, so I can put him away. And I think now that we're, since we're just going to redo this word anyway, let's emboss it. Why not, right? Because it'll really stand out if we emboss it. <clears throat> so I think we're just going to do that. Why not? I have my embossing stuff pretty handy. So, I should be able to do that. There we go. So, let me pull out the drawer that has all the embossing stuff in it. First, the mark. And then, I believe I have black. Hang tight, I'm trying to pull these drawers out. There it is. Whoop, there it is already in a little holder so i bought these at the dollar store there's um they come three to a pack it just flips up right here which is not great for your nails there we go and then i just take the lid off and that way i have it handy whenever i want to use it i got a little spoon in here you can buy these at the dollar store as well the spoon helps me scoop, unless you leave white in your stamps. <laughs> unless I leave white in my stamps, then you don't love me unconditionally. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this little verse mark. I have a teeny one because I don't do it quite as often, so the I don't need it that much. So I'm going to make sure I get it all over because I don't really know how wet this ink pad is. And I do pounce with that one for sure. And just for grins to make sure. Oh, look, it did. It, it worked really good. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. It has a little bit of black because we stamped this in Versifying the last time. But it didn't mess up my Versifying, a Versamark, so I'm good. I'm going to stamp it twice just because I want to make sure I get every spot. I forgot to use my rabbit hole design, so we're going to pray real hard that we don't have to do this a second time because we didn't we didn't put on the don't stick to everything. I do it one more time. I'm going to tap it really good. And then I may have to get my little paintbrush out and brush anything off. Nope. It looks pretty good. Just wiping any excess because I forgot to use my cool tool from Rabbit Hole Designs. Which is very disappointing, but it happens. This is the tool that you should always use before you stamp. Alright, we can put this away and now all we have to do is heat this up. So I'm going to close my black because if I don't, it will go everywhere. Now we all know what mine is. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to say is I have to turn on the heat tool. So 
hit mute for a second. hoping you'd be able to see this heat up but it's taking a bit there it goes all right almost there we're on pumpkins now all right that's it no more heat tool I am doing a Sunday. Are you shocked? So Jamie is packaging paper. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Jamie's packaging paper. So I decided to steal the show today. Because why not? And I had something I'd been wanting to try. So I thought we could, you know, give it a go. I'm going to give that a second to dry. And then we're going to die cut that out. Just because I don't want to fussy cut it today. So here's my sentiments. Is it here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we just gotta figure out which one it is. Perfect. First try. There we go. Yeah, Jamie has stacks and stacks of paper on her desk, so she wasn't sure she was going to be able to get through that and be able to do a live on her with her desk a mess, so I jumped in and stole the show for today. Because why not? You guys want to see us, right? You saw the paper? Yes. You saw the paper email? I mean, t uh post oh my goodness so much paper let me tell you how many paper cuts are you going to get trying to cut that paper uh, count that paper and package it up oh my goodness i'm glad i'm not doing it not gonna lie i do have to die cut some uh stuff today though oh look at that it came right out perfect Look, and it's cool. It looks so good. I have one little black spot. I'm going to see if it wipes off, but if it doesn't, you know, whatever. No, nope, it doesn't. That's okay. So, if you look really close, you can see how some of the spots showed up around, like, the end in pumpkins. I'm okay with that because this is just a color decks card for my Rolodex. So, um, but that won't happen if you use your rabbit hole designs buddy embossing buddy so you want to remember to do that like i said before i'm not a big embosser so i don't really remember the details sometimes so sorry okay but for michelle who just jumped in we turned the little tomato guy into a pumpkin. So if that strikes your fancy, you might want to watch the replay. Tomato, pumpkin. Tomato, pumpkin. Here we go. We're going to fancy this up. We're going to go all Jamie out. You ready? I got something I want to use. Oh man, it's too big. It's not what I wanted. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. Here it is. I found it, you guys. It's a paper clip. We're about to use a paper clip. Oh my goodness. Who'd have known? We're going to use a paper clip on this one. I'm super excited. I can't wait. Oh, the surprise for Jamie. 
Sweet Springs. Got those. Um, somewhere. Nope. Yep. Look at that. There they are. Sweet Springs. We have Sweet Springs. They're in the shop too. Oh my goodness. So much fun today. Sweet Pops in the shop. <laughs> Team Paperclip, baby. I'm only doing it for you, Jamie. I wouldn't do it any other time. It's not my thing. Paper clips are not my thing. And even then, I promise you, I might not even know where to put it. Okay, we're going to wobble this guy because why not? So I'm just going to pull a wobble out. And I think we're going to ribbon it. As we're going to bow it. Look. Jamie likes bows. So if I can find a bow that matches, we'll be putting the bow on the paper clip and we'll be putting the paper clip on there. Here we go. I haven't done one of these in so long. We're popping it up. I know we're we're still going to wobble him, but I want to pop it up too. This is going to be a big big colored X card. But no, why not? You know, you can do whatever you want when it's your own color dicks. I like a lot. A lot. I like a lot of sweet pops. So, it's super great when you can purchase so many in the shop on a roll. It looks like my jar is getting empty. See how empty my jar is? But no worries because I always make sure I have another roll. Yay! So I, ha I will have to, what I do is I take my roll and I cut in between each one and dump them in there. I'm going to MacGyver it? Yeah, I'm going to MacGyver everything. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing with it. It's all in my head. It's just going to have to come out on the paper. I don't even know what I'm doing. I have not pre-designed this. I'm just winging it. Isn't that how we all we crafters do? We have an idea. Don't know how what it's going to look like when we get done. We're just going to do it. If it comes out great then we keep it if it doesn't come out great then we throw it away it's just paper anyway right lifting this up is going to be super helpful with that paper clip by the way you like the gold you like oh the gold is good okay jamie likes the gold ribbon so we're going to pull the gold ribbon out so you can buy jane pre pre bowed bows tied by Jamie Clark herself yeah this is not really a me thing but I really want to twist it in there maybe I'll just glue it on there but I really want to put it on there oh no we're going to try it for just a little bit and see if we can figure it out Oh, man. I'm almost there. What do you think of that? Look at me go with my paper clip today. Oh, no. Don't count paper on wine. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to do it this way. Hold tight. Hang tight a minute. Nope. Not going to work. Let's go back to this. There's our, pa There's our paper clip. I'm going to get a paper clip in there for sure. Don't count paper on wine. We're going to wobble this guy over here. We're going to put this sentiment over here. Maybe we'll put the sentiment down here. That way we can put the bow 
up here. I'm liking it. Let's wobble him. Yeah, right? Can you believe that? I don't even, these are, there. these are quite a few products I never use. Well, not never, but I don't use often. Because it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't come to my head to do it. But tonight, today, right now, I'm feeling a little outside of the box at the moment. Oh, <laughs> he's super happy. This one, we're going to barely art glue. By the way, Jamie, I got my new, I got my box from you with all the paper and stuff. The box was completely wet, which is unfortunate when you have paper inside the box. So we pulled it out and the paper is trying to dry currently. Am I channeling my inner Jamie? <laughs> this is definitely not gonna look like a Sandy card. This is gonna look like a Jamie card, not gonna lie. But I am going to put some design around the outside because I can't help myself and I just want to. This little bitty task right here can make such a big difference. You can do it on cards and these and ATCs and whatever you want it looks like it's tedious and you're like oh what if I don't get them the same size or whatever no one is going to notice just go for it it will be fine no one's going to analyze your little dashes and dots so just do it because you like it and because you want to Oh yes, I have them ready. They're right here. Either white or yellow. I haven't decided. But yes, it's going to have some bling as well because this is just going to be a let's go all out little. It's going to be the front of my color decks box right now. As soon as I finish it because it's so cute and it's fall time so why not see that'll just make a difference because it'll break up that um, it does look cool when it's done just do it it doesn't have to be perfect but it does look super cool See, it's going to make a world of difference. It kind of breaks up all of that, like, yellow-ish around the bottom. You can also take your Copic markers if you want. I don't, I think I want to use, actually, I'm going to use my Memento ink pad. And I'm going to go around, just around the outside of this, just to kind of get that barrier between um, the paper that paper and my little guy background I do this a lot with my ink pads probably why they're frayed so this will remain my around the outside fray pad with the happy face and the other one I'll put a different happy face I'm not kidding I draw, ha draw happy faces all the time look at the happy face on this little thing right there <laughs> You'd use black dots. 
Look, I even have a spot to put this. Let me get all the bow on top. I may have to use a dot on this. Oh, I could put dots on the side. I want it to stick up. It's so cute. I did draw ink. I did draw happy faces on your ink pad too. I can't help myself. I kind of like it angled like that. What if I moved it down? Can I move it down, Jamie? Does that work? Can I do it like that? And then I can glue it up. And then it won't be so... It'll be down a little bit. I don't know. You guys, I am not used to... Uh, I, nope, it won't work. I am not good with these, with this. But I'm about to... I'm about to glue it down so it's gonna be stuck right where it's at I'm gonna put some barely art glue on it because my husband uses barely art glue on fabric so I know it will hold and I'm gonna do it do it do it do it yes I am never give up never surrender look Jamie you could have gave me this challenge challenged me to do different stuff but this is your live time so I wanted to do stuff that you would do oh my goodness you guys this is coming together so nicely I'm super excited let's stick it down and then we can put our bling and then we'll be all done and now you know if you bought the Let's Catch Up stamp set, you can make your little guys into different characters as well. So just because they look one way on the package doesn't mean that's the way they have to be. You can play around with changing it into whatever you want it to be. For me, I saw a pumpkin because I'm in the hol I'm in the holiday, Halloween, fall whatever kind of mood so that's what I saw I'm gonna stand up <laughs> there we go now he wobbles and there's a paper clip oh my goodness and I don't really do I have black I don't think I have black gems um, from the ton. I have black sequins from our shop. I thought I had black. Hang tight. Hang tight, you guys. I'm looking. Nope. Nope. No black. I have black sequins. No, I think we're going to go with these. Let's look at the, first let's look at the yellow, and then we'll look at the, these sparkle so much. You won't be able to see them that much though, huh? I don't have black. But I do have black dots, so let's just switch to the dots like we have in the shop because you know I have all the colors. So let's go to, this is my Sweet Sentiment dot stash. I'm pretty sure I might even have some with a little sparkle, which I think might look really good. I'm not sure, but I'm looking for black. I know there's got to be black in here somewhere. Oh, man, there's copper. That matches the ribbon. What about that? You like the yellow? I like that gold. I'm really into it. I can't help myself. These are your favorite? Are these your favorite? These are my favorite. Oh, there's only one black dot on there. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, the watermelon mat. Did I give you the watermelon mat? And I don't have it now. Oh, man. For reals. What was I thinking? Wait, wait. There's a few black. Oh, you guys. I didn't plan out the pull in the black. Oh. There's some tiny blacks. All right, we'll use the blacks. And we're going to use it from the New Year's Sparkle. But I think in the shop we have something called Sophisticated that might have that on there as well. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use the teeny ones because I don't think we need big bling at this point. Um, I was going to use all little, but I think I'm going to use my last big one right there. Do I need some over here? Anywhere else? I think I'm good. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to overdo. Wait, it's already overdone. <laughs> So, there we go. Recap real quick is we used the Let's Catch Up stamp set. Super, super cute. We used the little tomato guy. You see the third one? There's three on there. One, two, three. And then we used the stamp set called Fall Sentiments. Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins, Please. And we used the Color Dex Angled Die. All of these items are in the shop. We used the Sweet Sentiment Paper that Jamie is packaging now to color the little guy on. And there we go. What do you guys think? Do you love him? I love him. Look at him wobble. Yes. It is your stamp set. To you and me. You and me. You and me. I'm the pumpkin head. And we used a paper clip and we used ribbon and we made a color decks card. And yay! I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm glad I could pop in on your Sunday afternoon for a little bit of fun. And now I'm going to clean off my desk and die cut for... Um, for coloring a ways to use them. This is so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it does look like a little scene now that it's sitting right there, doesn't it? Because you can see the little path and the trees. Oh, man. it's I'm really happy with how it came out. Although, I won't lie to you guys. I was extremely nervous. And I wasn't just saying that. I was very nervous when we started about making him into a pumpkin just because I wasn't sure if it would portray as well as it did. But it worked, so that's why I say to you guys, just try it. If it you never know until you try it and it's just paper, so try it out. Thank you so much for joining me. I will upload this to YouTube for you guys to watch later if you would like. Um <laughs> thanks Michelle it was super fun to hang out with you guys today know that I will be traveling on my days next week so I will not be here on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but it is our last trip so when I get back from that we'll be back to resumed lives Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday at 9 30 central time love you guys thank you so much for joining me if you're watching on YouTube or now please um, pop on over to our YouTube and hit like and subscribe so you can catch anything that you miss in here on YouTube. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you next time. Good night. I mean, it's not night time. <laughs> Goodbye for today. <laughs>